Hi, so in this session, I will be applying feature scaling. So the data set that I'll be using is Vine data set, which I have already imported from SKLearn data sets. So in this data sets, we have different types of Vine. There are three classes, class zero, class one, and class two, right? So I've split it using model selection. If I check my description, So there are total 178 data points and there are 30 number of features. Some of those features are color intensity, proline, total phenols and 10 more, right? So there are total 13 features. We have three classes, class 0, class 1 and class 2. So this is what my data set looks like. I have total 13 features, right? So since we are doing feature scaling, first let me get rid of this Y, right? Because we only scale our features. Okay, so this is my X train and this is my X test. So what I want to do is, first I want to prepare a scale using X train, right? So I'll be fitting my X train data on a scale, right? And then I want to transform both of my X train and X test using this scale, right? So first we will be fitting X train and then we will transform X train and X test, right? So we want to see two types of scaling. One is min-max scaling. And the other is standard scaling. So both these scales are present in pre-processing module of SKLearn. So first let's look at min-max scaling. So I'll have to create the object of that class. I'll have to pass the minimum and the maximum values that I want my features to take, right? So feature range is equal to, let's say we take 10 and 20 and I will name my object min max scalar object. Okay. So next thing that I have to do is I have to fit my training data on this object. So my training data has been fitted. Now I can transform both my training and testing data. I'll be using the transform function. Okay. So my training data has been scaled, right? So this is my transform data. So if I see, it looks something like this, right? To see it in a visually better way, I'll be using pandas. Okay, so this is what my scaled data looks like, right? So this is what my scaled training data looks like. So what I can see that for each of these 13 columns, my minimum value is going to be 10 and my maximum value is going to be 20, right? So let's say if I'm talking about the second column, my minimum value will be 10 and my maximum value will be 20, okay? So if you want to check, let's say I'm taking all the rows and I'm taking only the second column. If I want to see the minimum value, I'll get 10. Right. Similarly, if I see the maximum value, I'll get 20, which will also be true for any other column. Let's say I want to see seventh column. So maximum value will be 20 and minimum value will be 10. Right. So this is what min max scaling is. Similarly, uh, like we have transformed our training data, we can also transform our testing data.
okay so similarly if i want to check right but one thing to note over here is that it is not a guarantee that each of the values is going to be between 10 and 20 right because we have fitted on our training data but this is my testing data right so this is my scaled testing data so each of the values are not guaranteed to be between 10 and 20 right and one thing that i want to tell is instead of fitting and transforming in two separate lines we could have also done this thing we could have simply done fit transform right so what this would have done this would have simply done fitting and transforming on my x train in one line itself right so earlier first we were fitting our data and then we were transforming our data right but now since i am using fit transform it will do in one step itself right and later on we can transform our testing data like we have already done here okay so i hope min max scaling is clear now let's look at standard scaling similarly i will have to create the object for standard scaling as well but this time we don't have to pass any range right because there are no no minimum or maximum value to be specified this time okay so first we'll have to fit and transform our training data and then we will be transforming our testing data okay so my training data has been fitted as well as transformed so what happens in standard scaling in each column my mean of the values is going to be zero or i can also say that the sum of all the values is going to be zero right so if i check x train scaled dot mean i am passing x is equal to zero what this will do it will give me the mean of all the columns right of all the columns i'll get the mean so i am getting these 13 values so this value is basically the mean of all the values of my first column right so it is very close to zero it is like 1.9 into 10 to the power minus 15 so it is very close to zero and similarly all the other values are almost equal to zero right and there is another property that in each row my standard deviation is 1 right so if i check my standard deviation my standard deviation will come out to be 1 right so this is what happens in standard scaling each column of my scale data will have mean 0 and standard deviation of 1 right similarly i can transform my testing data as well but in that case my mean and standard may, may or may not be zero right this time we will only be transforming our data and not fitting it So I hope it is clear how you can use min-max scaling and standard scaling from sklearn library. So I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.